Hello and welcome to the Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast with me, clinical somatic educator and founder of Total Somatics, Heidi Hadley. The Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast has been designed to help you gain a deeper understanding to how your mind and body work. You will learn about your amazing mind and body and why over time you can feel pain, recurring injuries and poor posture. Within this podcast, I will teach you why this doesn't have to be your future or the norm for you. Would you like to learn how to reduce pain, move freely and gain a new lease of life? Let's get started. Hello and welcome back. Now, just before we get started, I just want to encourage you, if you're watching this on the Total Somatics YouTube channel, to like, share, subscribe and press the notification bell. So every time a new episode is released, you're the very first to find out. Now, I just want to share with you uh, today an extract from within the Total Somatics membership. The reason for this is I've been so pleased to hear from so many of you around the world wanting to know a bit more about what Total Somatics membership is all about, what kind of content is included. But also there's been some really good questions. And I thought, what can I do to bring them all together, those questions and those inquiries? So one of the biggest questions that I've had from recent episodes um, of my podcast is about perception and how perception is beginning to influence our health and well-being. And so because I, there's so many rich resources within the membership, I thought, where can I take an extract of a workshop that I've held for members and bring this out? And so what you will find is in today's extract, we will break down that little bit about perception and how that influences our health and well-being, and why with Total Somatics, I can serve you, I can support you as we make some shifts and changes within your physical, emotional, mental, and energetic health. So enjoy this extract, and as always, leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Remember, we've talked about perception here, and I, it really is all about how you choose to think. We have that control over how we choose to think, and so this is where, again, our perception is basically shaping our stories, uh, it's shaped by our stories, our belief systems and the fears that we have. And so I just want to share this account here of how your perception and how your mindset can really start to run out of control if we don't start to harness and, and take care of that narrative that's going on within. So imagine that you've just broken your finger, OK, or you've somehow you've just broken your finger. It's some sort of injury there. Now we've got two different scenarios here, okay? But what can happen is, is there's two completely different outcomes. And sometimes people can visualize the worst case scenario and it doesn't always happen. You know, you can make things worse but before they actually ever manifest, if they ever do. This can be one of them, for instance. So if you're a football player, apart from a goalkeeper, because that's a different story altogether, but if you're a football player, and you play in midfield or, or whatever it is, and then you break your finger, there's a good chance that, you know, you have it wrapped up. You might sit on the bench for a week or two, but you might carry on playing. It, it really doesn't make much of a difference. So it's like, oh, yeah, it's a bit sore, but it will heal. No, no dramas. However, if you are like a professional violinist and you've broken your finger, your mindset, that narrative completely changes that neuroception again remember the guard dog and are we safe what's the situation like this is where we can start to catastrophize and it could be the situation that the mind and the narrative and the belief start to roll out of control and it could be that the violinist is going i've broken this finger i've worked so hard to get this place in the orchestra if i miss the next few weeks i'm going to lose my place if i lose my place i'm going to lose the payments for my rent or my mortgage and um, what am i going to do because it's taken me years to get here i've got these commitments coming up i've got this this can you see how then it spirals out of control and when that happens it really starts to impact the entire system our entire mind and body collectively our emotional health our physical health mental energetic health it all is impacted by what we feed and what we say in our mind and so as a result of this situation with the violinist for instance it could be that well it's there's a massive chance this will happen is that when you catastrophize and you continue to relive a story or an account or a narrative in your head it will amplify their pain perception because it's going to hypersensitize their nervous system. 
it's going to impact their emotional well-being it will increase their cortisol levels and when our cortisol levels increase we know that that means our infl inflammation is going to increase so when we get stressed cortisol surges inflammation increases and of course if that happens it's going to delay and slow down the healing process so can you see how important it is that we become like security guards of our mind we start to get really selective about what we read what we listen to who we talk to the kind of conversations that get discussed and if they are disempowering conversations can we discreetly just change them slightly to make it more empowering because the more we feed on that negative and we will learn more about this next time the more we feed on the negative it switches the neurophysiology the way that your brain is operating so again it all begins with how we individually choose to think and this is really where when we're in this situation, it's very much about trusting that healing process. It's, there are more actions that go on subconsciously in your body to help you heal and repair. You don't have to micromanage everything. And sometimes people feel that they have to do that. But when we just take time to take care of our entire emotional well-being, this is where we make changes. So wasn't that great just to hear that little bit of an extract there? So if it's really made you start to consider if Total Somatics membership is for you, please go to totalsomatics.com, click on the Join Now page. And when you get to the Join Now page, if the membership doors are currently closed, please leave your details on the wait list. Because very soon, if you're listening to this in 2023, you will notice very soon that I will be opening the membership doors for a few days. And if you're listening to this, uh, um, after sort of eight, August 2023, please still go to totalsomatics.com and click on the Join Now page. And please leave your details on that wait list because very soon again, periodically, I will be opening the membership doors. So I only open it every now and again. And that's just so that I can be fully focused and present for the Total Somatics members and serve them where they are at at this point with their health and well being. So I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. As I said, give me all your comments and your feedbacks. I love hearing from you. It's absolutely wonderful. So until next time, all my love and my very best wishes. Take care. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and also forward this on to somebody you know will benefit. To learn more about pain relief, plus how to improve your health and well-being, go to totalsomatics.com. Until next time, take care.